So finally, I got to visit my brother's winery, tucked away in Malmesbury, a sub-region in the Swartland, pretty far away from any of the other wineries in the area. Eso es, es característico del Murvedre. Sí. Pero ves, las plantas son, son chiquititas. Eh, normalmente son mucho más grandes. The soil is essentially red clay with lots of iron, and from the 52 hectares he has planted 27 of them with Syrah, Murvedre, Pinotage, Grenache Noir, Tempranillo, Viognier, Chenin Blanc, Roussanne, and Grenache Blanc. The winery right now is a very humble organic underground structure made with recycled containers to optimize temperature management. No irrigation, just natural rainfall, organic and biodynamic. Billy, qué bueno. No way. <gasps> qué fantástico, Billy. For example, this stone wall's purpose is simply to just keep a uniform temperature throughout the year. ¿Sabes por qué es importante esta piedra? Porque frío. Sí. Claro. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer: cosechar aire. I am not supposed to say this, but from three rows of this plot of land comes the best red in South Africa, according to the renowned Platters Guide. Este, este coreano debería quedar. You should never cover it. Granted, you need a good winemaker to make the best wine in South Africa, but you can't make a good wine from a bad terroir. Well, the best part about this lovely braai or lamb that we have there is that it's not lunch. It's just simply la merienda española. Because it's probably like 11 in the morning. We're going to have a bite, we're going to drink some wine, and then we're going to go to a real braai. So here we are, grilling some Karoo lamb, washing it down with some of his best whites and reds, and enjoying life once again. Mm. 